All right. Given. Oh uh, yeah, I was uh, reading uh, uh, the on the topic in a very general way, and I uh, was very intrigued by this uh, fact that those who receive the U visa, uh, they will also have. It's mandatory that they have to help the. Uh, you know the investigation. Any investigation demanded by the police department. Any investigation, yes. not even others not related to the original yes, yes. cause. It, 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 really? I mean, any category which they are charged with or they were uh, 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 involved with, whether it be uh, domestic violence or drugs or whichever category they were charged with. So uh, it, it seems that it, it, it is said that uh, the police departments. Uh, their explanation of uh, collaborating with investigation differs. I mean, <coughs> every uh, individual. Really? Yeah. So uh, it seems that it is very interesting. interesting. <laughs> okay, wait. So you get to use? Uh, are you? Are you? Are you like? You, you're definitely an illegal, right? Because <laughs> you need a U visa, right? So that's so there's a crime. Okay. Are you usually involved? <coughs> like, does does some do the cops catch you, and you want to turn state's evidence? And they get you, give you a U visa in addition to, to um, to you know to you get a nice plea bargain. You you understand what I'm saying? Are these you know, they've been described as victims, right? Mm -hmm. These are victims of crimes. So you're supposed to these are victims of crimes. You wouldn't normally point out your um, um, you, you you wouldn't normally uh, confront your accuser because it's human trafficking or domestic violence or or, or gang related already because you're going to get yourself killed. Okay. So, okay, so this person is, um, uh, his brother was in um, M13, what is it, M, what is it, what's the, uh, what's the game, what's the game, M, MS13, okay, mm -hmm. this, that's a, that's a, 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 a very large, I believe Hispanic gang with uh, terrorism connections. The terrorism uh, is on suspected terrorist list. Okay, so your brother is uh, is in MS-13. Okay, he's killed. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you know a, you know a fair amount of MS-13 people. Mm -hmm. You're an illegal immigrant. Yeah. You um, are upset. You want to bring some sort of justice to the situation, so you somehow contact, uh, um, and they offer you a U visa. Okay, and they offer your family U visas. Okay, so you get your whole family in. But of course, the brother's dead, so it's still not worth it. But whatever, you know, some sort of thing happens. What you're saying is that basically after they get they're going to come back to you and get yeah. more MS-13 yes. information. Yes, right. Not necessarily. And we will have to collaborate with the investigation. Continuously. It is a mandatory. It's not that they can or it's it's up to them, but it is mandatory that they should collaborate with the investigation. It is mandatory. Yeah. Fascinating. But until they prosecute them. Mm, I don't know about that. Well, um, and see, the other thing is, you know, a visa. This is in witness protection. Does anybody put them in witness witness protection? Because I mean, MS thirteen. I mean. A visa for me and my family isn't gonna is, isn't that appealing yet. <laughs> if you know what I mean, if I'm still living in LA and MS13 still around, and it gets connected back to me, so I'm not legal, so I'm not illegal anymore. So I've got a driver's license and I can get a job. I mean, all that's good, but it doesn't help me if I'm dead, right? But after three years hey. under the U visa, you, you can apply for a permanent residency. residency. You're going to apply that's for permanent You're eligible to apply right. for permanent Right, okay, but see, I th that's, okay, they become legal citizens, or at least permanent Yeah, maybe the residents. first three years, maybe they'll have to, you know. But still, aren't you still in danger? <laughs> I think they would have some. Yeah, for mm -hmm. yeah, the yeah. risk for the permanent residency. Okay, so maybe, okay, so, you, so the question is, um, you know, what about this mandatory, uh, what, do we, what should we call it, mandatory, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, mandatory, um, cooperation, uh, cooperation, yeah, that's it. 
Yeah, just what about this? And the second question is, uh, <coughs> you know, what about safety? Right? Mm -hmm. You know, witness protection, you know. I wonder whether you can put um, uh, a visa, a U visa person in witness protection. I bet you can. Be an interesting question to ask, right? It's very good, Devin. Yeah, yeah, Justin. As far as the uh, the effectiveness question, mm -hmm. actually, I found some data from the State Department report, mm -hmm. like the latest one this year. Mm -hmm. They don't have numbers for 2010, but they showed from 2008 to 2009. Uh huh. Um, and there was a very, it was almost the same. It was about 5,000 or 5.6 thousand prosecutions. Uh huh. Um, although the number of convictions doubled, or almost doubled. Okay, so you had 52 U visas in 2008. You had 5,000 um, uh, 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 arrests. Is that what you was that the first number? 5,000. Yeah. So uh, 2008, there was 5,212 arrests. Uh huh. Uh, there was 2,983 convictions made. Uh huh. And in 2009, Nine, when you had 5,800 visas, uh -huh, there were 5,606 uh, uh, prosecutions. And 4,166. Oh, nice! Could that could be effective. Yeah. So you, had, you, you definitely dramatically improved your conviction rate. Okay. Um, and that's in the Justice Department report? Uh, State Department. In the State Department report? Yeah. Okay, is that uh, like a PDF document yeah. or is it a, is that what it is? Is it, uh, is it 6.0? Adobe, can you, uh, can you, um, um, let's highlight that bit of info. Let me look at it. Oh, well, here's the here's the PDF report, and then I just went. Okay, they, that's your that, that's that's the chart. Yeah. All right. Well, send the report um, to us, and um, on the in the cover or in the in the you know refer to whatever page it is. Okay. Okay. So your effectiveness question now has some real data. Okay, you can now take your. You know, we found. Would you be able to attribute uh, the 2000? You know, the almost 50 percent, uh, almost 100 percent increase in um, in uh, uh, convictions uh, to the effectiveness of your new visa program. Okay. Now these are just on your way to the story questions. I don't really, you know, these are just ways to get people to talk to you. Mm -hmm. Always be open-minded about hearing something else. I mean, I, I can't tell you how many, you know, the person I work with, Donna Hazley, who's just a, one of the best reporters I've ever had the privilege of working with, she used to go into her last day of, the, of a cycle, we were on a weekly cycle with a 10-item story list. She just got on the phone and she, she was a, definitely a procrastinator. She wouldn't start writing. You know, she would write five or six stories a week and not start her first story until five o'clock on, on that night. Um, 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 but she was she has been known to turn over her whole story list in the last day. Just she was you know, she just found stories within the stories or, you know, to come up with something and she just turns over the whole story. She found ten other ones that she'd rather write. Now that's an extreme example, but but it, you know, it, she 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 has been known to do it. It just doesn't happen all the time, but she can turn over a story. So you're always looking for what else is going on. Anytime you ever talk to anybody, ask a question, anything else going on? What didn't I ask you? Have I covered the thing? What would you, if you were me, what would you have asked? You. You know, some people are going to say, have a nice day. But <laughs> other people are going to, going to actually, going to, going to bite on that. You know, this is a very humble thing to say. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm asking some questions. Have I missed something big? What would you? What should I be asking? Are there any large elements in, or, or aspects of these story, this story that I'm just not even thinking? Always assume that there's something huge out there you don't know. Okay. Very good, Devin. Anything else? Good. Good, Ruth. Um, my, my Poor Ruth is the last one on the line. We've already done all this <laughs> stuff, but you okay? Yeah. My Good. assigned question is question six. What does the program tell us about crimes in the illegal immigrant population compared to crime crime rate for the general public? 
Okay. Mm, actually, um, we can now find the accurate information on whether, I mean, on whether arrested or jailed immigrate, uh, illegal immigrate, uh, illegal immigrates or legal immigrants. Mm -hmm. But great. Great. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, great. But um. I found some useful information that they said we um, we have the perception that the foreign born, the illegal aligned, the illegal immigration, they are responsible for higher crime crime rate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this um, we think about this, but actually from the from the um, from many numbers database, actually. Uh, Uh, if we can find some historical studies, including official crime numbers since the earlier mm -hmm. 19, uh, 1990s, mm -hmm. data from the last just three decennial census and the, uh, yeah, national and the regional, uh, regional surveys in area of immediate consideration. Mm -hmm. An investigation carried out by major government commission over the past century. Mm -hmm. We found that actually the mm, immediate is associated uh, associate with lower crime rate and the lower in consideration rates. Okay. And um, yeah, and uh, so we have some historical data that uh, that uh, mm -hmm. um, would argue that the immigration. Immig Immigrant population, illegal immigrant population, or just immigrant population? Mm -hmm. Which one? Uh, actually, the illegal Im immigration is lower. Is lower? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. lower. That's a, it's than a, the would you guys have intuitively thought that? Mm -hmm. I would have intuitively thought the other way because they're uh, illegals that they would have been sort of skirting around the law anyway because they could get caught. And then, and because they're illegal, them. then there's not as. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would have intuitively thought the other way. So the but then because they're legal, there's not a lot of ways to... Yeah, how to to yeah document. document uh, also, ha there are some information about... Uh, yeah, they have some... Uh, some information of the impact of illegal immigration. And the some, yeah, some information that... Uh, the illegal immigration may, yeah, it's a it's a threat. Mm -hmm. It's a threat to American. There are some, yeah, like uh, in the FBA, in F the FBA has uh, some uh, report that in two o o five. Uh, I have yeah. There are some. You can see here, crime news. Yeah, totally. USA. Yeah, they have, they have some information that the illegal, mm -hmm. the illegal communication, they are more dangerous mm -hmm. than before. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'd like you to do for us is mm -hmm. if you have, uh, if you can over the next day, mm -hmm. um, write me a paragraph summarizing your analysis mm -hmm. here about, uh, so we can all, the, the, the um, it's important to understand the context in which you're writing a story. Mm -hmm. I, I would like to know, you know, what the what the, the overall crime rates are for the um, illegal immigrant population versus general population, because I might have some assumptions, mm -hmm. and I might, you know, and that uh, that affect my writing, one way or the other, uh, and, and I need to be be disabused of these things. So, so it would be very helpful, Ruth, if you would mm -hmm. write that and uh, send it to us all. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so we have that context uh, uh, in which to do our reporting. Well, that was um, frankly amazing. Thank you very much. You guys did did very, very you did much better than I expected you to in terms of your internet, your ability to research on the internet and getting uh, getting us uh, uh, to to uh, uh, some place. Uh, where we can ask uh, uh, the next set of questions. Mm -hmm.